What's going on gamers? If you're looking to build your strength and muscle mass to get you that Goku looking body, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe and follow along because today I've got a killer full body workout that's gonna get you those gains quick. Let's go. Welcome to Six Pack Gaming, the number one online resource for fitness and health for gamers. I'm your host, Tyler Johnson, AKA The Ape Coach, and today we are back with another weekly gamer workout challenge. The weekly workout challenge for gamers that's gonna help you build muscle, burn fat, improve your energy, your posture, and ultimately, your gaming performance. So, let's get into it with today's workout. Today, we are doing a full body strength and conditioning workout. So. Basically, I've been pretty inconsistent with my workouts this past, I don't know, six months or so, just with renovating the old house, getting that ready to sell, and then moving into this new place and all that jazz. So my traditional sort of like weightlifting workouts in the gym have been lacking a little bit. So to get back into the swing of things, I'm gonna work in some like full body workouts here. Okay, so today, this isn't what I would typically recommend over a long period of time because it's pretty physically demanding, but if you give this thing a shot for even just this first week, or if you wanna continue this on for you know four to six, eight weeks at the most, you're gonna see some huge gains in your strength and in your muscle size. So we're gonna get it started over here with the squat rack. Now, because this workout is focused on weightlifting and more on you know building strength, uh, we are going to be using pretty much what you would need um, a gym for. Um, it's mostly free weights because I'm doing this in my basement gym here, but I probably am going to make use of this cable machine. Uh, so if you don't have that, you can substitute with some resistance bands, uh, but just kind of to get you, you know, give you the heads up, we are going to be using some equipment in this, uh, in this workout today. Okay, so we need a squat rack, we need some free weights, so a barbell and some plates, uh, some dumbbells and whatever, and, uh, and possibly some cables. So basically, we're gonna go through, I'm gonna take you through each of the exercises that I'm doing as I do them, and then I'm gonna add some commentary in this to kind of walk you through what I'm doing and give you some tips on how to perform the exercises properly. All right, so let's get to it. First exercise is squats. All right, so here we have squats. You can see I'm taking a pretty tight grip uh, just outside shoulder width. I'm squatting down until my thighs are parallel with the ground and I'm driving through the heels trying to keep everything nice and tight being explosive on the way up and controlling on the way down. All right, next up, oh, this is squats again. I screwed this commentary up already. So that first one you saw there, that was my uh, final warm up set. And then here, this was actually the first working set. So I moved the camera back a little bit so you could see the depth that I'm going to. I'm squatting down until my legs are at least 90 degrees. And then I'm pushing up through the heels, squeezing everything at the top, including the glutes, and just keeping everything nice and tight in the upper back and all throughout the core as well. All right, so that was squats. And now we're gonna move on to the second exercise here, which is stiff leg deadlifts. So with these, I basically wanna maintain the same angle with my shins throughout the whole movement. And I'm trying to really focus on getting a stretch in the hamstrings at the bottom there, and then squeezing at the top and really using the hamstrings to move the weight rather than my back or my arms. All right, so that's stiff leg deadlifts. Moving on to number three here, we have the bench press. Okay, so you can see I take my grip just outside shoulder width, right where the uh, grip on the bar starts. I'm lowering to the mid chest and pressing straight up, keeping my elbows in a bit closer to my body and keeping my core brace tight, my butt on the seat and my heels dug into the ground as well. Moving on to number four, we have some body weight pull-ups here. So you can see I'm taking a grip that's basically my normal uh, width. If I just raise my hands straight up in front of me, that's the width of the grip I'm using here. Um, key things here are just pulling with your elbows, not with your arms, in order to really work the back instead of your biceps. All right, so that's the pull-ups. 
Now we have some cable lateral raises. So with these, you can see I'm leaning slightly forward and I'm rotating my thumbs slightly up towards the ceiling. That helps to put the shoulder in a safer position um, and more of an external rotation so you don't get any shoulder impingement and helps to kind of hit the side and rear delts at the same time. Now we have some rope press downs for the triceps. So you can see I'm really trying to squeeze hard at the bottom and I'm actually flaring the uh, ends of the rope out at the very bottom and that's just to get a complete contraction in those triceps and really squeeze them as much as I can there. You can see I'm making some faces, I'm working pretty hard and then I think this is the last workout here or the last exercise. We just have some standing alternate dumbbell curls. So you'll notice with these, I'm rotating my palms up towards the ceiling as I'm raising the weights and really just squeezing with those biceps at the top, lowering under control and uh, I'm actually shifting my weight slightly side to side as you can see here as well. And this just helps me focus on really squeezing with that bicep every single rep. Okay. And there we have it. All right, so there you have it, a full body strength and muscle building workout. I hope you guys like this one. I know it was a little bit different than usual, but if you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below if you wanna see more of these workouts with you know, the whole gym equipment being used and focus more on strength and muscle building, all right? So your goal for this week's Weekly Gamer Workout Challenge is to complete this workout just two or three times, all right? If you do this two times this week, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna get some amazing muscle building results. If you still feel like you got a little left in you, you can do this a third time and that's gonna be all you need. It's gonna leave you completely wiped, especially if you're pushing yourself with those weights. So give this thing a shot. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. Smash the thumbs up button. Be sure to share this with friends or fellow gamers that might wanna try this challenge out with you. And last, but of course not, not least be sure to hit that subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be the first to know when we post our next weekly gamer workout challenge we have a brand new workout a brand new challenge on the channel every single monday so you don't want to miss it plus we've got a lot more great fitness and health content coming to the channel very soon so you're going to want to stay tuned for that as well so thank you guys so much for watching until next time train hard game hard and i'll see you in the next one peace